Hi, this is Amy, and I want to show you how to grade papers using Google Docs and the Jing project. So I'm going to assume that you know some things about how to use Google Docs and Jing, but if you don't know how to do these things and I've left something out, please let me know and I would be glad to do a tutorial to, to catch you up on these background skills that we're talking about. So I'm teaching a, a college class and I had each of my students create a collection and share it with me. So here are the shared collections and uh, I actually have a blog post about how to use shared collections so you could also go back and read that it's got some tutorial information there. But One of my students, Sergio, has volunteered to let me use his paper and so I'm going to show you how this process works. So here's Sergio's shared collection that he has shared with me and here's his rough draft that he's written and so I'm going to open that up now, how I was doing this before was, was also, I think, pretty effective, and that's that I was um, just using the comments. So the comments in Google Docs are great. You can just highlight some text, insert a comment, and type away your ideas to the student. However, that was taking me a really long time to do that, and you can see I have one comment over there to the right. So I came up on this idea yesterday, and I'm so excited about it that I want to share how I did this. So I installed this this program called Jing, and I'm I'm a giant fan of it. You probably heard me talk about it before if you follow my stuff because it's it's a great thing. This this is a product from TechSmith, the same company that makes Camtasia and Snagit makes this product, but you can get it for free. So if you Google Jing project then you can just download the software and it runs on your computer in a unique way in this little sunshine up at the top. So Google Docs is free, Jing Project's free, and I'm going to show you how I grade these papers. So I'm going to open up Jing and I'm going to get this capture tool right here. So this is kind of like a um, crosshairs thing. So let me pull it up and I'm going to choose a section of the screen to capture. So for our purposes, um, I would really just pull this all the way across and, and maybe even cover the whole the whole window with it so that we could show the student what was going on with their writing. You don't want to make it too gigantic because it you know the file gets too big and all that kind of stuff even though that's really not a big deal because Jing is also going to store it for you on a service called Screencast but I'll show you that in a minute. So here we go. I'm going to click capture video. Hopefully I can use Camtasia while I use Jing so that I can show you how this works. So you just click capture video. It's going to give us a countdown and tell us the microphone's on. And so now it's recording everything that happens within this window right here. And now I can say, hey Sergio, this is Miss Mayer and I'm going to grade your paper now and give you some information about how to revise it. So um, let me read here. So what I would do then, teachers, is I would just start reading the paper and really I would click the pause button. So here I'm going to pause and so I'm going to read and read and read. So I'm going to read until I have something to say. And my first thing I have to say is that this word right here, intrinsically, is not, I don't think, what Sergio means. So I'm going to resume the recording and I'm going to say, all right, Sergio, I like how your paper has started, and I really like this phrase right here. Mine was distressingly different. Very nice. Um, this word right here, intrinsically, I don't think this is the word that you mean. So look that up and try to find a better word to use in that situation. Now, teachers, I would then just pause the recording and read and read and read until I find something else that I want to talk to Sergio about, and then I would talk about the next part of the paper and click go again. So here we go. Let me find something else. Um, let's say this is the next thing I want to talk about right here. So I'm going to, I'll highlight that and then resume the recording for Sergio. And I'll say, Sergio, this is really nice. Amusing squeaky noise when bumped. Of course, every little boy is going to have to check this out. So I can see where you're going with this, and, and I know something bad's going to happen. Good job, like, foreshadowing this event that's about to happen. But nice little phrase happening right there. So then, teachers, I'm going to pause that recording. I'm going to read and read and read, find something else, and I'm sure you get the picture by now. Let's look at what happens when we're done. So when we're finished, I'll click Finish Recording. And Jing is going to show me my paper here. So now I'm going to title this. Take my advice and give these good titles. I used to just let it say the time and the date. Big mistake. You've got to title it. So this is Sergio Cesar. And this is uh, Personal Narrative. 
So I'm going to title that and uh, maybe even I put what date it is today. Today is February 3rd, so maybe I put 2, 3, 12 on there or something like that. Any, anything I think I need to go back and find this later. And now I choose Share via Screencast. Now this is this is like miraculous right here. If you were in the room, I would ask you to say ooh ah right now because what Jing is doing is uploading that video I just made to its server somewhere else. And now it's given me a link. Well, I want to go a step further because remember, I don't want to publish my students' work out there on the web with my comments. This could be really personal and, and in this case Sergio has given me permission to show you this paper and show you this process but um, but my other students haven't so I can't just publish publish this out there for everybody to see. I've got to put it somewhere else. So it's uploaded though. Now I'm gonna go to my screencast account. So when you install Jing it's gonna prompt you to create a username and password and that same username and password is gonna work at screencast.com this is sort of like the other side of Jing. So I'm going to log in with the same username and password. And I'll click sign in up here to the right. And now there's the paper that I just recorded. Now I'm going to make a folder for that to go in so that I can password protect it for Sergio. And I know this is going to be time consuming the first time, but trust me, this is so much faster than grading by hand. So I'm going to call it Sergio Cesar. And now he's got his own folder. I'm going to take this grading I just did and move it to my Sergio Cesar folder. Now it's going to be inside this folder and now I can set my settings for this. So I'm going to go to edit and privacy and I'm going to change my privacy to password protected and I'm going to give Sergio a password. So I will share with him what that password is. So maybe it's Sergio um, 1301 and then I need to come up with some kind of unique code because if I do if I do every student's first name and then 1301 dash then they can see each other's papers obviously they'll figure that out so so some way to create a code um, don't use student socials online definitely don't do that but but create some kind of code that only you and the student know so that they will they will know what that is and no one else will so now I can save that and let's see how we get it to him so hold on just a sec So now I'm ready to send this to Sergio. So I'm going to checkbox it and share it. And here's the link. I'm copying that link. I could even send him an invitation right here if I wanted to. But I want to keep everything accessible from his paper. So what I'm going to do here is um, highlight some text somewhere. It doesn't really matter what it is. And I'm going to insert a comment. And I'm going to let Sergio know right here how he can actually receive his work. So I'm going to say, um, please go to this link to get your um, discussion. Now I'm hitting on a on a Windows computer it's control V on a Mac command V to paste that link in there that I've got sitting on my clipboard waiting to be pasted. And now when I click comment, Sergio is going to see that as a hot link and be able to click it. So let's see, let's pretend we're being Sergio here. What happens when we go to get our information? So I open up my paper, I see this over on the side, I click it, and then up pops this video window, and I can play. And I know it's quiet for you because it's coming through the speakers on my computer but but here it is and you can see that it's a video of the screen exactly what we just recorded so I'm super excited about this I wish I would have thought of this way years ago but I haven't been teaching English for a long time I, I work in technology now so lucky I went back and taught English I think this is a great technique I hope you can use it if you do decide to use it please let me know I would I would love to know that it helps somebody else out because I'm super excited about it. All right, uh, have a great day and hope that helps you out. Bye bye.